one of the best parts of uh, starting, beginning the trip, sunset. It's a slow, peaceful ride at first. Headlamps and spotlights help navigate through these canals when the sun goes down. These wildlife biologists are looking for a once endangered species that now inhabits this area surrounding the Turkey Point nuclear power plant. We built this canal system for the benefit of the plant as a cooling system and it's wound up being a win-win situation for the animals. The biologists capture American crocodiles to track their population growth and survival rates. This is where the fun begins. If they can't catch it, it's on to the next one. Some crocodiles are captured using a snare, others by hand, and some on land. As this croc gets away, the team tries to move in closer. And as soon as the boat is near land, one biologist jumps out to go after it. It's hard to see him at first in the dark, but... Taxi! Uh, we got him. <laughs> there he is, coming out of the bushes, holding a 13-pound American crocodile. I mean, when you're, when, the minute you get on the bow of the boat, or in the boat, and you've got the snare, you're nervous, you know, you, you want to capture the animal. And you don't want to hurt the animal, you want to make sure everything's right, and you have to think of safety. All right, good catch. Once the hard part is over, measurements are taken. Each captured croc is weighed, and they're checked for tracking devices. Just by these scute clippings, we'll know which animal it is. Then, it's back into the water. They're very misunderstood, all reptiles are. So once you get to understand them, you figure out that they're, they're really neat animals. All in a day's work for the sake of preserving the American crocodile. Suzette LaBoy, Associated Press, Homestead, Florida.